Okay, everyone. Today I show you something like this. You can see the designing here. Um, it's a wood the part for for furniture, and uh, it has a complex design. Um, but uh, all I can see is um, this. I make something like this. And uh, you can see the border um, is made something like uh, OG. And uh, if you have some special tools like this, you can make OG very simple and uh, fast. Uh, but suppose you don't have this, so you have to use a flat retop, um, a flat top vivid to make a um, 2D relief. Okay, uh, here um, I show you something uh, in the ArtCam. First, uh, create a new model and uh, I draw this rectangle that shows the board, the wood board I have of 20 millimeters thick and uh, 200 multiplies 300 millimeters. And this is one I want to make from it. Okay, first I select my part and control G to group them. Or you can use right click and group vectors. Okay, and then I hold shift key to select the rectangle and then I use the assistant and the position to I choose the center vector. Um, if you don't have this, you can click the uh, triangle button and choose this one in the vector, and it will be put in the center of the rectangle. Okay, now uh, I ungroup it and I choose the very um, Outside vectors, and then I use this to create 3D blend. Okay, uh, choose the convex third, and um, um, like this one shown here, and the second vector, the inner one, uh, here shows the uh, thick. Thickness of each one's border, the zero level, and the inner vector has a five millimeter higher than the outer one. And here we choose the inner vector edge, and I choose add and create blend. Let it finish. And in the 3D, you can see this something like this. Okay. And uh, we do the same thing to the second and the third vector. Now we get something like this. Okay, sorry, five, maybe even two, one, two, three. Okay. I control Z to undo and I use the uh, almost okay. I close and then now turn to the outside the one and I use the 2D clearance, area clearance and make it 0 to 5 millimeter and I choose a tool we use the 6 millimeter end mail and it's a step down make it 5 millimeter and there is the drag to G make it offset then okay now 
close and we select middle circles. Okay. Middle circles and uh, from five to eight. That's even three millimeters deeper than the first um, circle we make. And we use the same tool, and the same step down lens, and uh, offset. And, uh, now, close. And now we need to select the smallest circle here. Okay. You can see I have uh, grouped the three circles in the same level together. Um, do the clearance and finish that uh, two. So it from eight to ten, and uh, choose the same two. Um, here is okay. Offset and. Uh, Okay, and then we can simulate all three paths to see if uh, action. Okay, here we get the uh, these things like this. Okay, and now uh, what we gotta do is to do the relief. Select the biggest and the smallest. I hold shift key and then I use the machine relief. Okay. And then I choose the selected vector. Make it offset and we choose a tool and will be okay at five. Okay. okay. And then select to the bonus six millimeter. I think it is okay. And uh, I don't see this one. Yeah. Five minutes is okay. And uh, now. Now we can simulate it. So you can see something like this. Hmm, maybe six a little large. I gotta change it. To it, um, three. And something like this. Seems like good. And now we to uh, cutting outside that's um to the profiling then the outside and to the two six millimeter and five and press now And then simulate it so we can have the part will be cut out. Um, as you can see in the design, uh, there is something on the back of it. 
See here, something on the back. That is the key point I show you in this video. And that is why I make this part, sorry, control Z. Uh, why I make this part in the very center of my wood board. That means I will cut it and then I will turn it over and do the work on the back side. On the back side. Uh, so if I have used the 2D profiling to cut it out, then I can't um, make it accurate when I put it on the back because it has uh, uh, um, about a, a six millimeter gap around here. So I uh, uh, so we can't uh, cut it very out here. So I show you this this tool and the two pass and the QD profiling this tool. Profile options use this and uh, uh, you can see here's bridges. We can create some bridges to the grid. First we um, select the two D profiling two pass. I mean the two pass, not not the vector, the two path. Yes and then click here. We can see how many um, how many bridges we can make around it. I think we can make it eight and uh, about the bridge thickness and make it straight I think okay. And, uh, oh, sorry. Here is the number of the, the bridges. And uh, bridges. Here means the bridge lens has to make it One millimeter. I'll make it two. And for the sequence, I'll make it two. And then update operators. Okay, close. In the 3D, I think we can uh, reset simulation and then simulate all two paths. You can see something like this here. One, two, three, four, and even something. These are the bridges. So you can imagine that after do the two D profiling, uh, I mean do the cutting, this part will also be connected to my wood board. So when I turn over the wood board, turn over wood board. This one, I can just uh, uh, put it to the bottom left corner, and so it is also in the center. And then I do another uh, area clearance, maybe like this, and I make a refining and make it five, six, five. And uh, offset, and this will be done on the back. Okay, so now we have several two paths here, and uh, um, I think we can make uh, we can merge some of the them together with the same tools. Uh, first, I think is the area clearance. We can make it. Um, uh, I choose the two pass merge. And in the 3D, end mail, end mail, end mail. I do the three area clearance. And that's, uh, Can so select this.
uh, five select at its ready and choose them together. And uh, I select this reverse origin to pass because um, reverse origin to pass um, will delete your origin to pass. Okay, and uh, we just uh, merge them together. And a new name in the three circle clear and I calculate and close yes and I have the three circle clear and then I can um, all nodes machine repeat yes and uh, profile yes okay And this one here with clearance 3. I make it uh, another name back clear. Right. Back clear. I can save two pass now. The first is the three mm -hmm. circle, and then the Machine relief and the format will choose it as 2D work mass to model master 3 axis flat. Okay. Save this and uh, then I separately save the machine relief, save. And then I choose the back here. Okay, then we can make this part by the three to pass. Okay, I uh, hope this video will be helpful for you. This is Richard Liu. See you next time.